when I was, uh, when I was like early teenagers or whatever, this was, he was like my guy. I remember like going to all these movies at the mm-hmm. theater. We would have weekends with my dad where my sister and I would switch, change, uh, picking movies. And we would go to like Lion King one week cause it was her choice. Mm-hmm. And then we'd go to the new Van Damme movie yeah. when it was my choice. So, and all of his movies are rotten, which is hysterical. Really? Yes. He doesn't have one? So between, I mean, he, the, in, in this like zone where I was like watching him. Right. He made Bloodsport. So this is starting in 1988. Yeah. Bloodsport, 39%. Cyborg, 20%. Kickboxer, 40%. Lionheart, 27%. Double Impact, 35%. Universal Soldier, 29%. Nowhere to Run, 30%. Uh, Time Cop, 45%. Mm. Which Time Cop... Is probably my favorite of these. But that's not what you have on that's your list. That's not what I have on my list. The one I have on my list, just because I, I love it for so many reasons, is called Hard Target. Jean Claude Van Damme is the Hard Target. You miss me? From internationally acclaimed action director John Woo. How does it feel to be hunted? You tell me. Hard Target. Okay, I have no idea. You have no idea what this is. Absolutely no I'm idea. I'm so excited to tell you about this. Oh, I can't wait. So Hard Target came out in 1993. Mm-hmm. This was John Woo's first American film. Ooh, so, really? So, yes. So this the the, <laughs> the log line of this movie mm-hmm. is a woman hires a drifter as her guide through New Orleans in search of her father who has gone missing. They discover a deadly game of cat and mouse behind his disappearance in the process. You know, that's a good log line. That's it's good. I instantly am like picturing that. I'm like, that sounds kind of fun. So it's it's in New Orleans and it's basically a, a play on the most dangerous game where, yeah. where man hunts man. Yeah. Um, so what this group of evil guys do is they find homeless army, like military vets mm-hmm. who have combat experience mm-hmm. who can fight and they basically make sure they're homeless, make sure they have no family. They give them $10,000 and say, if you get across town or whatever, you, you escape. And then they have people go out to hunt them. Oof. So one of these vets is killed. And then his daughter comes to town to look for him. And she makes friends with Jean-Claude Van Damme, mm-hmm. who then helps her. I mean, I would make friends with him, too. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme plays Chance Boudreau. What kind of a name is Chance? My mama took when. Great name for him. Uh, he wears <laughs> a long black trench coat with like a black shirt and blue jeans and a mullet. He has a mullet? He has a mullet in this movie. Oh. And it like always looks like a little wet, just a little bit wet. Like greasy or wet? Like greasy or like wet. Um, oh, I can't picture it like that. <laughs> Other things that happen, he's riding a motorcycle mm-hmm. directly at a truck that's coming at him. Mm-hmm. He stands up on the seat and then stands up on the seat so that he's shooting at the truck while standing on a seat of the motorcycle driving. He jumps over the truck Spins up and keeps shooting at the truck and it blows up. It's phenomenal. Logistics. That's tough to do, I'm sure. There's a point where they're traveling through the jungle and he punches a snake. Just in the face? He he catches a snake. And just. And punches it and knocks it unconscious. So that he can set it as a trap for the guys that are coming after them. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm with you, I think. And because it's John Woo. Right. Like every John Woo stereotype, there are like slow motion doves mm-hmm. flying around mm-hmm. and there's like crazy, like long dissolves of like him behind flames when he's fighting the bad guys mm. and, and it's, and it's lots of crazy slow motion and it is, it is, the unintentional comedy is off the charts. It is. Well, now I kind of want to go home and watch One this. of the most fun, ridiculous movies ever because he's, I mean, he's fighting all these guys and it's got some cool action right. set pieces, uh, but you're just. The whole time you're like, what were they just like, we're going to try and do this as ridiculously as possible. Well, yeah. So yeah, it's a, (laughs) it's a classic. It did. The budget was 19 and a half million and it made 74 million. So it was a a hit. See, listen, he may not have gotten a tomato. Right. But he made money. It was 53%. It was the highest of all these movies. Okay. uh, All all of his movies. Okay. Which I think is just because maybe it's a John Woo movie. Right. Right. (sighs) I'll have to watch that one. That one actually piqued my interest Hard a little target. bit. It's a, it's a good one. Hard he's, target. He's wearing, you know, he's got to do his splits and stuff. So he's wearing super sure. tight jeans with a denim shirt. So it's like all jeans. Just denim. And then like like steel toe boots or whatever. Yeah. it's Doing the splits. And there there's a uh, Wilford Brimley mm-hmm. shows up mm-hmm. doing like a Cajun accent, like a, like a, a weird mm-hmm. kind of Louisiana Southern accent. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, everything about this movie is amazing. Can't go wrong. The guy, the guy who played uh, uh, Lance Henriksen, he played mm. um, the detective in Terminator and Bishop and Aliens. Yep. He's pretty hilarious in this. And then uh, Arnold Vosloo, he was the mummy. If you remember those Brendan Fraser movies, yeah, like so he's oh yeah that guy. He's just chewing on. I on, wanted to put some stuff, money so. on here and it had too high of a score. I'm like, dang. So yeah, it's I I think just for for unintentional comedy it is worth every second. It's a must watch. So, yes, exactly. all right. So.